Hi all, uh, welcome back. Um, our, this is a follow up to the um, last little uh, um, blog that we did regarding flies. Um, lots of questions after that, which is great. It shows that somebody's watching at least. Yeah, so <clears throat> we spoke in the last one at length about flies and fly choices and combinations of flies and how teams of flies work. So we've had a lot of questions um, uh, raised in, in that. So this is uh, to focus this week on lines and choices of lines. And, you know, my preferred choice and way I, I work and way I understand how, how things are working. So um, from all my floating line work, I use the Airflow uh, Superflow floater. Really slick, good casting line. I use a, a Wake Forward 7. Um, for pretty much all my work, so it's it's it, it does everything I wanted to do on the reservoirs and on the lakes. A uh, lovely floater for that. Casts well, nice presentation. Um, so if you want to cast a long line, it is capable of that. It's the super casting line, and then and the new super flow is is a real improvement on the on the lines. So that's all my uh, that's my, all my floating line work is, is carried out on that. Um, we had a lot of questions uh, regarding washing line because we, we spoke about that at length. Um, <clears throat> now, um, <clears throat> a lot of people asked, you know, what line do we fish washing line? Well, I think you can fish a washing line on any kind of line. You can fish a washing line to set up on a floater or, or an intermediate or on a midge tip. Um, <clears throat> my preference is a midge tip. Um, I think that the flies bite in a little bit more and you get firmer takes when they're just that little bit under the surface. But it, it can be very much dependent on where the, the fish are sitting and what zone they're in. But my first choice uh, line that I, I reach to is the Airflow Superflow 12 foot slow glass tip. That's my number one number one line that I, I, I choose. It's, it, seem, it seems to work really well. Um, and it's a, it's a very slow sinking tip. It's uh, it sinks at one inch per second. It's pretty much Airflow's slowest sinking line. Um, uh, <clears throat> it's obviously the, the the new Superflow variants that came out last year. They changed all their tip lines, and this is a, a really nice nice bit of kit. So it's my first choice one. Now with with a washing line and with tip lines, um, there's long been a debate on what length because there's a multitude of lengths. You know, small mini tips of sort of. 18 inches uh, down to six foot tips, three foot tips, 12 foot tips. I think there's even a 15 foot tip in one fly line manufacturer or other. But the, the 12 foot tip is, is my choice, uh, my first choice. Uh, and, this, and the 12 foot slow glass tip um, enables me to fish flies in that top two foot of, of water. Um, <clears throat> it's a uh, because this is a 12 foot tip, you, you tend to get a nice angle. Where's my pen to demonstrate that? You get a nice angle of float. So if your floater is there and you get the 12 foot, because it's a very slow, you get a very small angle of the, of sink on the, on the, the, the intermediate head. Uh, and it's, cause it's, it'll get you down, you know, just that little bit. <clears throat> and now that angle can be very important. So the 12 foot slow, is a very gradual angle and gives gives you a, a lot of feel when you're fishing with your flies. Gives you your contact is very good because your line is quite quite direct. Now with faster sinking tips, um, what you can have if if you're uh, you're very careful, you can have this hinge effect where the tip sinks quickly and the floater stays up. It may just pull in the the, the tip of the floater slightly, but you get this hinge. So the way a fish is to fish takes your flies. <clears throat> it, that, that sometimes that take is taken up in the hinge, and you don't get contact. And that's that's a, a real bug. That's not what you want to happen. You must be able to be in contact with your tip. The twelve, the, the longer tips, they, they help to flatten that curb a little bit. But you do have to compensate with a faster tip. I think by slightly increasing the speed of your retrieve. Otherwise, you will have a, a big hinge. And if you have that big hinge, then the fish will had your flies, spat them out. And cleared off before you know anything about it. If you can, if you can keep that 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 uh, that hinge effect fairly flat, then you you will have more hookups that will increase your hookup rate. Um, <clears throat> I've 
last summer when they when Airflow changed the the, the, the lines into the Superflow format, um, I started using the the twelve foot again, and I I, I did a considerable uh, success with the twelve foot version, twelve foot fast tip, fast glass tip, and that's a good bit faster than the than the the slow tip. Uh, and a 12 foot at that. Uh, I wasn't a fan of the old one, to be fair. I thought it, it, it came down a little bit too heavy, but this is a vast improvement. Uh, I, I, it casts really, really well. Obviously, with the Superflow technology, it is, you know, it's designed to cast out really well. But it also fished a little bit differently. I, I thought that it, it fished more gradual as it came back and it wasn't quite so heavy to, to bed in. I think that's what, perhaps the, 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 the sink, the diameters on the, on the, on the tip has changed slightly, but it's, it, it's fished a lot, lot better. It's a, it's a line I had great success on, uh, last summer, that, that, uh, that version. Um, it's, it's, it's really worked well for me. Um, but as I say, you have to be mindful when you're using a faster tip. That you have to increase the speed of your retrieve, otherwise, as, as we said, that hinge can be a marked factor, and you'll have more takes, but you won't even feel them. So just compensate as you retrieve with that. And then we went, we touched on on pulling our pulling casts um, last week, um, and that was um, what what line do I go pulling with? Well, it depends where where the the fish are, um, but. If you don't know, I, I, I've always said that so my number one uh, pull-in fish finder line is the good old Airflow DI5. That's I use the sweep version. Um, I, I, I prefer that one than the, uh, the, uh, the Sixth Sense one. I have got that as well, but I seem, seem to use the, the sweep 5 uh, more than anything else as, as my go-to pull-in line. I find that um, it's a... It's my best fish finder line, if you like. Um, it covers a multitude of depths, right the way from sort of the uh, you know, first couple of feet down to you know down to around ten foot without without uh, any problem. A good cast to that. It sort of sweeps right through the layers and back through, so you're able to locate that depth of where the fish are, and that that's really important that you get your flies in that depth. And, and I say the dive five seems to bite in within a couple of seconds about. So I cast out, figure it out slowly just to let it bed in, and then you really feel that it is bedding in, and you can draw it back. I'm not a huge fast puller, I don't think, think that. I try to understand and, and get to a level and work my levels, you know, using a little bit of counting. Cast, cast the line, give it five seconds to count, bring it back. Perhaps next time, give it ten seconds. But try and understand, try and get your head round. The, the, the fact that the fish are certain at certain levels. And if you can consistently find the level and fish at that level, then that's what that, that will increase your catch rates. Now, after that last week, we, we talked about, um, the booby basher. <laughs> um, and, uh, and I was, was singing the praises of, uh, the disco elevator booby. I think that's done really well since, uh, since the last blog. But yeah, that's my, Booby basher, I don't know if you can see. B bash. So it's the good old booby basher. Now this is a, this is some line. This is, uh, it's a bit of a specialist line. It's not for everyone. Uh, it's a very, very fast sinking line. It's, it's also got a, uh, an amazing, uh, casting line. It'll cast an awful long way. Um, there, there has been some debate. Uh, plenty of people have asked me, um, how long? Cause the, when the, when you purchase the, the, the lines, they've got quite a long uh, sinking section head on them. Now, uh, that head can be shortened to suit your your uh, particular casting ability and needs. The longer the head, if you can handle it, the further you'll cast it because it's heavier. Um, but for me, it was a little bit um, you know, a little bit too long. I, my flies were coming down in a, in a, in a heap and not really... Um, any sort of presentation at, at a, a big cast because these things you can you know you can whack it out 30 yards 40 yards they're, they're very very easy to cast a bit heavy but as long as your casting ability is okay you can put a good good line up um the occasion um when last summer when we were out um in a, in a hot spell and 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 I was using the elevator booby. My boat partner fished one of these as well. I don't think he did adjusted the length, um, and his casting, his flies were coming down in a heap, and he spent a lot of time in tangles, untangling, therefore he didn't catch as many fish as he should have done. But 
mine, um, the cru crucial part of mine, I took 10 foot off the head, head of it, off the length, and reattached the, the, the braided loop. Um, and I felt it was a little, still a little bit, I was cast it, but I had to make sure everything was lined up dead right. So I adjusted another two foot off it. So I took take 12 feet off the, the length of mine in total. I know that other anglers, I know Gaz at the Lake's great caster. He didn't quite take as much as that off his, he, you know, his, uh, it suited him to have it a little bit longer. Uh, and he, he gets on with that fine. But I short mine and now it's, 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 it's perfect, you know, put out a big line, um, and get it down. And it is, it, it's, it's a, it is a rocket sinking line. It is. If you want to get down, this is the kitty to get down. It will drop like a brick. It's very difficult to get anything below about 15 foot up deep on a drifting boat. Um, but if you've got very light winds, um, or calm and you chuck this out, you're going to be pulling up the ball. It is a rocket. It sinks like a brick. Absolutely sinks like a brick. So those are the, the gist of, of, of the lines that we talked about last week. There is only a brief sort of uh, theory of what, what we, we, we talked about. Um, but hopefully once we get underway in the new season, we're going to do some more instructional videos out on the water and put these theories uh, into play. And hopefully uh, we can have a, a bit more play. Hopefully things are going to start to improve uh, in the spring and we're all going to get out and get fishing I hope anyway. Until then, take care. I'll see you soon.